Hey people, in this clip I will tell you about market manipulations and which I think you should not enter without experience. So, number one, movements on low volumes. If you see that the coin has grown and the volumes for 10 minutes are just one bitcoin, you should understand that the price that has risen due to this 5% by 5% will most likely fall. This is kind of suspicious, let's say. So, an example of the NXS uh, coin. We see a one Bitcoin purchase and an increase of 4%. Many may think about continuing growth, they enter and the price rolls down. It is necessary to understand that movements without volumes are practically not supported by anything and it is very difficult to close a deal with a large order and usually this ends up with a large loss. Well, um, overall I do not recommend using <laughs> any of these manipulations on small volumes. Not worth it, trust me. So, next thing, dangerous walls. I guess I shall draw one. So, the principle is that the coin is first in the flat, and then there's a sharp rapid growth. As we see, the buy order book consists of a huge wall. It can be 100 bitcoins, can be 500 bitcoins, maybe 1000 bitcoins. So, the bottom line is that a major player bought a coin and he just pushes the price up. He puts the wall, market players cannot eat it up, there's no NXS holder who is ready to sell them for 1000 BTC. So, uh, he starts moving the wall higher and higher. And since uh, people see growth, obviously they place their orders a bit above the wall. So, those over the wall are still orders, let's say the price has gone up by 20%. As he moves, he sells to people whose orders are above the wall and he continues to move the wall to reap more profit. So, we also need to understand that there's also smart traders who have bought at the bottom and are waiting. When the price for these traders is already profitable, let's say 10-20% profit, they will begin to sell in this wall, and the wall starts to slightly decrease, let's say it goes down by, well, 50 bitcoins. So at that moment, when there are very few buyers and the sellers are leading, and Nobody wants to buy on highs, so at a certain moment the number of buyers just starts falling. Well, this is when he abruptly removes the wall, as in there are other people's orders in the wall as well. It should be kept in mind that with the growth of the coin, more buyers appear. Well, yeah, the volume in the order book is not 10,000 BTC, but still it can, ac uh, it can, can accumulate, a, I don't know, some... 20, 30 BTC over time? Well, not all market participants use Moonbot and don't see the order books and stuff, so when they see a coin grow, they think that there will be a pullback and place the purchase orders around somewhere 50% along this line. Well, this is not so important overall. The main thing is, in the moment when people start selling along this wall in high volumes, the major player just removes his wall and sells it all on the market. This way, the, this way the price sharply falls down. Well, he can sell it in different ways on the market. He can just sell it and first there's going to be a downwards candle and a further fall will continue. Or he puts up a sell wall, starts pushing the price down and the price just falls very quickly. If you have a purchase order at the beginning of growth, you may get lucky and catch a breakout. So you can earn. I don't know, let's say 20, 30 percent, but usually there are no breakouts, so just a very powerful fall and like a fast drain of the price, let's say. Also, life hack time. 
If you still have an order placed there and do not want your money to go down the drain, just use the volume stop setting. Okay, let me just clean this up and show you. So let's say we placed an order and that this wall here is at 1000 BTC. So we check the price on the utmost left. It's 23.59. We go to volume stop settings and we set the parameters that if by the 23.59 price there's going to be less than 0.3 BTC, then our deal will be closed with stop loss. So that when the wall disappears, the bot will sell it since this happens way too fast and uh, set the stop loss spread immediately by 10-20% to sell as soon as possible. If you're a beginner, I recommend not to trade in such situations or to trade but with a minimum order. In addition, if such a wall appears after the usual fluctuations, I recommend also to stop trading this coin. And the last manipulation are the pumps. We spoke about them in one of the last videos, so try to buy only at lows. Do not trade after the start of the growth, usually pumps end uh, up with a drain below the price before the start of the, bump, the pump, so if you bought it and the price went down, close the order right away, cause it may take several months to wait for a profit or like exit to break even. Uh, pumps rarely have rollbacks, so don't trade them. Uh, even if it seems that uh, to you that the price has stopped and the growth goes up, do not open an order. It's not worth the risk. Um, pumps also don't go by wave motions, so keep that one in mind. Well, overall, these manipulations are dangerous business for the unwary, so I would recommend getting into them after you have enough experience and practice, well, where you will be able to feel, let's say, these manipulations by yourself. But still, if you want to give them a try, uh, do so in low volumes or maybe in emulation mode for the start. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.